Hi everybody, it's Miss Sarah. I wanted to show you some letter activities to go with the items you received in your bags. We have, um, I'm using a sticky note and some of the crayons. I wrote a letter A, and then I took all the little pieces that were in there, the beads, the buttons, the pom-poms, and even some um, pipe cleaners. And a fun thing to do is to ask your kids to use these loose parts. So loose parts are just anything you have laying around. You could even go outside and find rocks or if you have a, a collection of seashells or a collection of race cars or whatever you might have on hand. Um, and you can do the same activity and change it up with new with those other things that you have laying around the house. So I would challenge a student to um, make a letter A and use these things that I have on the table to make a letter A. And don't forget the letter A says a, 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 like alley, alligator. So then your child would simply use whatever they have on the table to make a letter A. Let's see if I can do one for you. There's a letter A. Oh, and I can make it button letter A. There's my button letter A. Ooh, pom-pom A might be hard because there's not enough. So maybe I could use my pom-poms and my beads together to make a letter A. Let's see if I can do that. Ooh, that's a little trickier. Two kinds of loose parts to make a letter. And it doesn't help that my blanket is wiggly. Okay. There you go. Pretty good letter A right there. And a letter A in buttons and a little letter A with pipe cleaners. Challenge your kids to do all the letters in their names uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and don't forget to work in those sounds. What sound does that letter ma A make? Ah, ah, ah. Thank you again for picking everything up. Have a great day.